You didn't see this coming. No one did. Not Washington, not Brussels, not even Amsterdam. And yet, here we are. The Netherlands, one of America's most loyal allies, just made a decision that could shake the entire global semiconductor industry. And it's standing firm. Just one move. That's all it took to throw America's tech war into disarray. And the consequences? No one is prepared for them. Under pressure from the United States, the Netherlands made a move that could seriously disrupt global chip supply chains. ASML, the Dutch tech powerhouse that controls about 90% of the world's lithography equipment market, was expected to follow Washington's export restrictions on semiconductors to China. But instead, as reported by Reuters, ASML is still sending deep ultraviolet DUV machines, essential for chip making, to Chinese companies, despite U.S. objections. This action goes against America's push to limit China's semiconductor growth, and it brings up a tough question. Is the Netherlands starting to follow its own strategy, or is this a game of economic brinkmanship? Former ASML CEO Peter Wenink had earlier warned that cutting off China completely might just speed up Beijing's chip development efforts. And maybe he was right. Have you subscribed yet? You won't want to miss our next upload. Thank you, and let's continue. China's Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, or SMIC, has already built a 7 nanometer chip, despite U.S. sanctions. The Wall Street Journal even called this a wake-up call for Western tech dominance. If ASML keeps selling to China, is it helping extend its lead or digging its own grave? Forget oil, rare earths, or artificial intelligence. ASML's extreme ultraviolet, or EUV, lithography systems are arguably the most valuable tech in the global chip race. Each EUV machine costs more than $380 million and is necessary for producing the most cutting-edge semiconductors. Without them, China lags far behind the U.S., Taiwan, and South Korea. That's why the Biden administration, using the CHIPS Act, pushed the Dutch government to stop ASML from selling EUV machines to China altogether. But here's where it gets messy. ASML still holds a strong grip on the market for older, but still crucial, DUV machines. The U.S. wants those blocked too, but the Netherlands isn't complying. The money tells the story. In 2023, nearly 46% of ASML's total revenue came from China, over $7 billion. Cutting China off now could massively shrink ASML's income and possibly hand over its market lead to China-backed competitors. If ASML caves to U.S. demands, is it sacrificing its long-term survival? At first glance, the Netherlands' choice to keep shipping DUV tools to China looks like open defiance. But dig deeper. It's about economic survival. Dutch leaders are not only dealing with pressure from both Washington and Beijing, they're also trying to keep ASML at the top of the global tech world. The Dutch government provides significant support to ASML, and letting U.S. policymakers control its trade decisions risks turning the Netherlands into a hostage of American interests. And then there's the threat of retaliation. China has already warned of putting ASML on a blacklist if restrictions increase. According to Nikkei Asia, China is now stockpiling ASML machines, boosting local lithography development, and pouring $143 billion into its own semiconductor industry. So the Dutch government must ask if they give in to the U.S. now, will they even have a customer base in five years? The U.S. strategy relies on one major assumption. Without ASML, China can't produce next-gen chips. But that belief is already facing a serious challenge. A recent report from the Semiconductor Industry Association says China made 70% more advanced chips in 2023 than in 2022, despite heavy sanctions. The Netherlands' hesitation to fully meet Washington's demands might actually speed up China's progress in closing the tech gap. Major U.S. chip makers like Intel, NVIDIA, and Qualcomm are watching the situation carefully. The restrictions placed on China haven't stopped demand. They've just shifted how supply chains operate. According to Bloomberg, although the U.S. blocked chip sales to Huawei, Chinese companies have found ways around the ban by using subsidiaries and third-party firms. If ASML continues supplying China with DUV machines, could Washington's efforts to contain China be backfiring by making it self-sufficient faster? Each time the U.S. tightens its rules on chip exports, Beijing replies with large investments aimed at building its own semiconductor ecosystem. Huawei's Mate 60. Pro stunned the tech world by including a cutting-edge 7 nanometer chip, something experts believed was impossible under current export controls. Now China is gearing up to expand production even further. 
Keen Global reports that China's government-backed chip fund has pumped another $45 billion into leading players like SMIC and Yangtze Memory Technologies, or YMTC. Dutch semiconductor expert Bert van der says that the longer ASML continues selling to China, the quicker China's homegrown chip sector will evolve. If the Netherlands is prioritizing short-term revenue, is it unknowingly helping China build the very technology that could one day replace ASML itself? The European Union has already faced internal division over trade policy, and the Netherlands' recent stance only deepens that divide. France and Germany have shown public support for U.S. restrictions on chip sales to China. But privately, several European leaders are frustrated. The reason? American firms like Intel and AMD are still receiving exemptions that allow them to keep working with Chinese partners. European policymakers are beginning to ask a key question. If the U.S. puts its own economic interests first, why should Europe be expected to sacrifice its own? The Financial Times reveals that European chip makers like Stmicro Electronics and Infineon are quietly pushing back against blanket bans. If the Netherlands continues resisting, could this spark a wider European pushback against U.S. trade pressure? If so, the real issue isn't just about ASML. It's about whether the Western alliance is starting to fracture over national economic interests. China now controls more than 77% of the world's battery production but its greatest weakness still lies in advanced semiconductors, especially those needed for electric vehicles. ASML, the Dutch firm, is the only company in the world that can make extreme ultraviolet lithography machines, which are essential for producing the most advanced EV chips. The United States has tried to block China from accessing this equipment through strict export controls, yet ASML continues to ship deep ultraviolet machines to China, although in fewer numbers. As a result, Chinese firms like SMIC and YMTC have sped up their development of local alternatives. According to Bloomberg, China's electric vehicle market is now the fastest growing in the world, with domestic sales expected to top 10 million units in 2024. This puts direct pressure on Tesla, Volkswagen, and General Motors. If China closes the semiconductor gap, it could dominate the entire EV supply chain, not just batteries. That would force Western automakers to depend heavily on Chinese tech in the long run the U.S. had expected full alignment from its allies. Yet ASML's ongoing shipments to China, alongside Beijing's determined push for tech independence, signal a rising defiance in the world's trade system. According to the U.S. Bureau of Industry and Security, China's domestic chip production surged by 38% in 2023 alone, beating earlier forecasts. SMIC, which used to rely heavily on foreign tools, recently managed to build a 7 nanometer chip using DUV machines, a feat U.S. officials had claimed was impossible under the current restrictions. ASML's move to keep selling older generation machines despite tighter export rules has also encouraged countries like South Korea and Japan. Now, domestic tech firms in those countries are urging their governments to ease export controls, fearing they might lose market share to Chinese rivals. Nikkei Asia reports that South Korea's chip exports to China jumped 41% in early 2024, another sign that the global chip market may be shifting. Despite American pressure, China remained ASML's second biggest customer in 2023, making up 46% of the company's total sales, over $7 billion, according to Reuters. If China were completely cut off, it would leave a massive revenue hole that Europe's weaker chip sector can't quickly replace. Analysts from ING Bank warn that if ASML fully obeys Washington's demands, its revenue could fall by up to 20% over the next two years, leading to large-scale layoffs and budget cuts. The Dutch government, which sees ASML as a vital national asset, has hesitated to impose a full export ban unless they receive trade deals in return. But if China manages to develop its own lithography machines, ASML won't just lose profits it may lose its place as a global tech leader. This leaves us with a critical question. Is ASML buying itself time by dealing with China or is it risking becoming obsolete? This semiconductor conflict doesn't exist in a vacuum. It's part of a larger economic standoff between China, the United States, and the European Union. According to the Financial Times, China has now restricted exports of gallium and germanium, two essential materials for making chips, in retaliation against Western trade moves. Meanwhile, Washington is rolling out a $39 billion expansion of the CHIPS Act to counter China's growing influence. The European Union, too, is rushing ahead with its $47 billion European CHIPS Act.
This tit-for-tat escalation shows that the ASML situation is more than just a fight over chip tools. It's part of a major global economic shift. If things continue down this road, we might see even more export bans, countries pulling supply chains back home, and Western tech companies forced to choose sides in a new economic cold war. If ASML keeps selling restricted chip-making tools to China, U.S. trade officials might retaliate by hitting European firms with secondary sanctions, similar to those used on Huawei suppliers. At the same time, China's government-backed Big Fund 2 has pledged $45 billion to create its own lithography technology with early models expected by 2026, according to Kin Global. If China pulls this off, major players like Taiwan's TSMC and South Korea's Samsung, both reliant on ASML tools, could lose their competitive edge. Meanwhile, European chip makers like Infineon and ST Microelectronics are growing increasingly uneasy about depending on U.S. trade decisions. Behind closed doors, their executives are urging EU leaders to seek more trade independence. This suggests we're seeing more than just a battle over semiconductors. We could be watching the global chip industry split in two, one ecosystem led by China, the other controlled by the U.S. and its allies. For decades, Europe has tried to stay economically neutral, but ASML's latest moves, whether deliberate or out of pressure, might signal the end of that role. The United States expected the Netherlands to fall in line, but pushback from The Hague shows that Europe may no longer be willing to blindly follow Washington's lead. Meanwhile, China is using this ASML conflict to highlight cracks in the Western alliance testing how much economic pressure it can apply before U.S. allies begin to break ranks. If Beijing successfully builds its own ASML alternative within the next decade, it won't just be a breakthrough in chip making. It could change the global power structure altogether. The Netherlands may have acted out of short-term business interests, but the long-term impact could reshape global alliances for years to come. And if ASML loses its lead to China, this moment might go down as the day the West lost its grip on the future of computing. But if you think this was the biggest showdown in the chip war, think again. Something even more surprising is unfolding right now, and it could change everything. A new player is stepping onto the scene, one neither the US nor China saw coming. We're glad you're enjoying the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And check out this next video. It's already waiting for you. Stay tuned for more hot news from 3 Daily News. Catch you in the next one.